new six three-minute rounds in the Super Bantamweight division. Timekeeper John Smith, referee Marcus McDonnell, introducing in the red corner. He wears black shorts with red, weighed in at 8 stone 9 pounds 11 ounces. Coming to the ring in his 82nd contest, having gone the distance in all but one. From Evesham, Brett the Threat, Fido. And in the blue corner, winning black with white and gold. On the scales, eight stone, eight pounds, eight ounces. Brings a perfect record, six wins, six contests, four inside the distance. From Maidstone, Kent, Dennis the Menace McCann. Dennis McCann looking absolutely raring to go. Comes from a travelling background, as indeed does Brett Fido. Seconds out, round one. Dennis, who's already made a few quid and in the process of buying his first property. Well, fair play to him. He's a, an outstanding prospect. He doesn't hang around. The challenge tonight will be to try and get Brett Fido out of there because Brett Fido only been stopped once in 63 losses. He knows his way around a boxing ring, knows how to hold, knows how to work on the inside, and he's tough. So, in terms of skills and talent, yes, McCann has got it. But it'll be a test for him tonight against Fido. The only defeat that Fido's had when he's been stopped was against the talented Andrew Selby, and he had a draw as well against Brad Foster not so long back. Dennis McCann only turned pro in May last year. Fought on the Billy Joe Saunders fight at Stevenage and instantly announced himself with an eye catching stop out stoppage victory. McCann knows he's in against a good pro here, John. That's why he's, he's working well with his jab and staying at distance. I think the only chance that Brett Fido is going to get of landing a shot here is trying to catch McCann as he's coming forward. But McCann working well with the jab. Fido, he's trying to be patient and waiting for him to make a mistake, but McCann, he's boxing well at range here. Trained and guided in his professional career by Alan Smith. Was originally penciled in to have fought on January the 10th, Dennis McCann, but that fight ruled out because he was suffering from tonsillitis. Confident opening round, but Fido showing what he is, an excellent survivor, strong man, and not somebody who's about to instantly surrender. Sounds a cheery sort of thing. Yeah, it's a good film. Are you in it by any chance? I am indeed. Oh, I thought the fun. <laughs> Were you particularly good? No, no. You couldn't get anyone else, so he asked me. <laughs> So into the second round, this six-rounder. Good work again from McCann, not overcommitting. As I say, that just made a rare mistake there, but he's boxing well at distance, you see, so he's not, 
He's not overreaching, he's hitting the target. He knows he's in against a, a good man who's, who's, who's decent on the inside and will only get a chance really to land his shots if he overcommits, he overstretches or if he misses the target. That's why McCann, he's just staying on the outside and boxing intelligently behind that jab. Nazim Hamed, you know, he's well aware of all the comparisons which have been made between McCann and himself, and he actually contacted him, FaceTimed him and had a chat with him about precisely that. Who's got the best screw shot? Naz thinks his might be better, of course. Oh, well, Naz just had the power, didn't he, in either hand. His, his power was exceptional. He's not taking any risks here, Dennis McCann. Break the body, Dennis. Really talented young prospect, Dennis McCann. Oh, oh good shot. hello. Yeah. And he's found the weight of that one yeah. and gone down badly winded. Six. He's shaking his head, I don't think he's going to carry on. It's all over in the second round. Only one man has done that before, and Dennis McCann has got himself a stoppage victory. That's a super punch, wasn't it? Intelligent display there from McCann. Worked well with his jab, box well at distance, but then produces a bit of, bit of magic there with that left hand to the body. And there's not, well, there's only one person ever stopped. Fido in 63 contests. He's tough. He well, knows he's... his way around a ring, and you know he, he, he's one. Of, it, it's an insult to call him a journeyman, to be honest. But uh, there, he just couldn't recover. That was a super punch. Let's have a look at it here. Whips that shot underneath. It was a bit so of a delayed reaction. So, so, look, so quick, wasn't it? So quick. Bump. Oh, great shot right underneath the elbows. Brett Fido, he couldn't continue. Well, Fido is not a man to quit. Never has been, but that was quality. Yeah, it was. See how he just adjusted his feet, John, in and out. It was a quality punch. So we have the announcement of the result, and here is Craig Stephen. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at two minutes and six seconds of round number two. Mr. McDonald reaches the count of 10, the winner by count out still undefeated, Dennis the Menace McCann. Well, how about that? Dennis McCann winning spectacularly in the second round and now makes it seven wins out of seven. Thanks so much indeed, Paul. Um, Dennis, you took your time, you did what only one man had done before. Was that one of the sweetest punches you've ever landed? Yeah, definitely. Um, I've been training very, very hard in camp. I've been training all the way through lockdown. And uh, I just said, me and Al, Al Smith from Eddie Lamb was working on our boxing more. I can box, so I'm, I'm probably one of the best te technical boxers there is. And just box and put me shots. And uh, to be honest, I, I, I practiced that shot in the changing rooms at Old Bolo. I knew if I landed it, I just dip my shoulder and I just come back up because you can't see him. So one you can't see, I put you down. So if you get rid of Brett Fido's like that, you're going to have to start pushing yourself up. Are you ready to start moving up? Because you're still only a baby. No disrespects. I'm ready for anyone, mate. Whoever wants it can have it. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't fear no, no bantam weight. No one at all. I've uh, got obviously me, uh, me promoter, the best in the business. He'll uh, tell me when to fight for titles, and it's, it's up to him. I'm MTK, my managers, and my trainer, Alex Smith. So, so Frank, we've been, we've seen a lot of young kids come through. We've seen them show some talent. This kid's right there. I'm not putting words in your mouth. This kid's right there. Performance of the night. Performance of the night. Finish you know, of the night. Yeah, no performance because no one thought he would. You know, this guy was going to go as early as that. It was a good fight for him, and he'd done the job. And he, all he's doing is going to get better and better. He's got to keep him busy, keep learning, and he wants to learn. And he's he's a consummate professional. That's the main thing. There's no shortcuts. Does everything properly, him and Alan. And at the end of the day, if he keeps doing that, he will go on to be something extra, extra special in British boxing, world boxing. 
It's true. Sometimes you look like old school. You look like a guy that's 30, not a guy that's 19. And on that subject, Dennis, you can go home to bed. Frank, you stay. Dennis, you go. Thanks very much I've for your time. No, it's time, time for the Harry Bowls. So, time for the Harry yeah. Bowls, yeah. <laughs>